Colin, the Rebels and the Greensboro Generals, whom you meet Friday night, are staging a real battle for first place. It looks like it's Greensboro that is going to give you the most trouble this season. Yes, uh, Bill, they've been giving us trouble all year long. They're a fine skating hockey club, and each time that they play, they can win and go into first place, and every time we play, we can win and go into first place too. It's going to be a tough seesaw battle right down the wire. The Charlotte Checkers, whom I thought would be up there with us as well, took a, a bad spell, and they could snap out of it and still get back into contention for first place. Uh, I think the determining factor is going to be if any of the lower place clubs, uh, Nashville and Jacksonville, and they aren't too low if you look at the standings. They've got some games in hand on all three clubs. They could move right up and make this a real close battle right to where they could upset the whole apple cart and help put any one of the three clubs in first place. But Greensboro is the club right now. There is a great deal of balance, as you mentioned, in the league. Yes, it, uh, it makes uh, for a much tighter league. Unfortunately, Jacksonville... Uh, uh, have so many games in hand, which doesn't help their their standings and their fans at home look at them where they are right now. They don't look to see how many games they have to play. But one thing about it, uh, I look at the loss column, and there's only one club that has less losses than the Rebels, and that's Generals. They have 15 losses. Uh, when I speak to you right now, we have 16, so there's only one loss separating us. Uh, which means that we have won our points. You can't take them away from us, and those clubs that have games in hand have to win them uh, to stay up with us.